Oscar right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our deputy leader of the greatest political party in this hemisphere, Cynthia Mother Pratt, to give some brief remarks. Please give a massive round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, BH. Only one BH, eh? <laughs> well, you know, since we've already been properly recognized, let me just say to you how honored I am to be here among you today. It is no secret that I've been a little scarce lately because of the many challenges that I've been facing. And I want to thank all of you for your support, for your prayers, for my husband. Even though he has gone on, I want to thank you so much because so many of you have been so good to me. Thank you so very much. This morning is a very busy morning for me. I do have another prayer breakfast that I'm speaking at at 8 o'clock, believe it or not. <laughs> a funeral at 11, you would have known that the four people that were burned up in the house is my family. And so I, they're waiting for me there. But I had to come this morning because of brave. I want you to hear me carefully. There are friends and there are friends. There are people who pretend to be your friend until time comes. And when you're about to face the challenges of your life, that's about to swarm and man look here, push you way down under. That's when you tell who real friends are. I got some things I'm going to say. Because I'm the keynote speaker at the opening night of convention and I will not leave a stone at turn. It has been such an honor for me to represent the wonderful people of St. Cecilia. There are some of them here this morning. St. Cecilia, please stand up. Those who are here, some more to come. They're trying to get a ride down. They called me and they said they were on their way, but they, they needed a ride, but they'll get here. I want to thank them for allowing me to be their voice in the parliament. You know, the press tried to make it seem that there are odds between Brave and I. I don't know where they got that from. But Lord, if we're at odds, Brave, I love you. Let's continue to be at odds, my brother. You know, in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, it says, God is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love and work toward the saints. He will not forget your labor of love. Sometimes we forget, but God will not forget. I believe it's a humbling experience for Brave Davis to see how many persons have showed up to support him in his quest Maybe he has forgotten the amount of people he has touched over the years. But they haven't forgotten. And that's why when he knock on doors, they say, you remember way back there? When you did this for me and you did that for me? Well, Brave has been good to me. And I surely can stand here and say, Brave, thank you so much for being there for me. Continue to press 
press forward in spite of. Because you can see, you can see that you're making a difference. And if you can see it, then the people can see it as well. <laughs> Let me just encourage you, Brave. You have been in this party. I met you in this party. You have never asked for anything. You have given of yourself over these many years. People have come and left. And you're still here, pressing forward. Some have been good to you, some have been unkind to you.